It's called a promo, Shut kid. Your and mouth, if you want to be the big dog, you're going to have to learn how to do it. So go Are ahead. Are you ready? No, I said, Are you ready? That was good. Glad you finally decided to pull that giant stick out of your butt and have some fun for once in your life. You're uneducated, Marks. You sit there on your phones, tweeting out your opinions like they're worth the damn. Let me explain something to you people. You don't know shit. And I'd like to think that maybe this company will be better after Cole's in the mid card. <laughs> Dude. That's a hell of a mid card match. I'm excited for it. Let's go ahead and start it right now. I started it. Starting with Britt Baker, women's money in the bank holder against Chelsea Green. And no, I'm not going to try to do it. <laughs> I knew you were good. No, I was like. I thought about it. I thought a second time and mm, went uh, with my better judgment. It's so hard. It's yeah. so hard not to do it. I'm not Samantha Irvin, though. I can't, I can't nail it down that same way. I should have grabbed a water bottle. It's all right. We got should've. a short episode here. Chelsea Green's going to get squashed. We all know. No, that's not how that works. Hey, that's Chelsea works. can put up a fight. Will yes. she? Yes. Well, I don't know. I hope so. I'm a fan of hers. I mean, she is going one-on-one with the doctor. Yeah. So. And again, she is on a very, very short ticking clock on when she can cash in her money in the bank. She is, and she's over here instead wrestling Chelsea Green. I mean... Maybe what she's doing is having a match every week to try to get some momentum before she goes in for the big dog. Remind you, the champion is Rhea Ripley. If Rhea Ripley was the champion and I'm a contender, I might wait. I might yeah. be waiting a little bit. Yeah, that'd be like having a contract and like John Moxley being the champion, but you're like, you know. You don't want to cash in on that. <laughs> Why would you want? Especially if you got John Moxley surrounded by bloodthirsty animals. Yes, exactly. <laughs> John Moxley is the current wrestling in the middle tag team champion now. With Claudio Castagnoli, who? <laughs> Lee. <laughs> Lee. <laughs> and there's... There's the money in the bank holder. The only one right now, because Will Ospreay already cashed in at an appropriate time and D- did it M- successfully. D- now her, yet to see it. Yet to see it, but... Money in the Bank is, like, two months away, I think. Yeah, I mean... Maybe less than two months. Dang. So, does the M now stand for Money in the Bank? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. I don't know what DMD stands for. <laughs> oh, you didn't know? All right, get rid of this camera. I don't need people giving you the look of shame. Damn. Damn. That's fair. Let's start the match now. Well, Britt going slow. Well, she was going slow, but she gave her a nice little kick. Then like some gut kicks to start a match. She tried to give three of them. And Chelsea put up a combo into a neck breaker instead. Look at her. She certainly did. She absolutely did. I think if I were Chelsea, I would be pretty upset, right? Because I think Britt thinks, oh, I'm going to get an easy win, you know, and yeah. But if I were Chelsea, I would prove her wrong. And She's doing so. Yeah. Chelsea might just win this. If she breaks her arm, she might just win this. I mean, even if she doesn't break her arm, I mean, it's really hard to hand a briefcase over. That sling broken. blade was hard, is what that was. The... Uh-oh, uh-oh. I th- oh, Ooh, what a slap. Ooh. They are chopping away at each other. Chopping Ooh. and slapping and... Oh, snapping and tapping. Nobody's tapped yet. But I'm not so sure that Britt Baker's arm didn't get broken. She is fine. Oh, apparently. If it's broken, she's fighting through it. What a tough guy. What a tough gal. Ah, uh, yes. What a tough back and forth. But it looks like <laughs> Chelsea got the most of it. Oh, nope. No. No, here we go. Born We're getting blows. all of it. We're both getting all of it, they said. Oh, well, it looks like Britt got the upper hand into another sling blade. She can sling all the blades she wants. I what would you have done if she hit another one? <laughs> well, I would have called her the sling blade queen. Is that it? Swing a net breaker and that's the match? 
No. No, no. no, no. no way. Have to put on that lock jaw. Lock her jaw up then. Yeah, do it. Lock her up. No. Send her away. Looks like she's going to power bomb her? Oh. It's never a bad idea. I'd Looks say. like she's going to send it. a message here. We've seen this too much this week. <laughs> too many people this week have gotten power bombed outside, and that's a dangerous spot. It is, and then she's kissing her hand. Because she's about to slap the shit out of her, I'm guessing. Or she's just going to go up some more. Okay. Okay. I mean, you are the future women's world champion by your, your standards, so do what you want. That is true. You already do what you what want anyway. Here? Oh. Another sling blade. She's Didn't just, see that coming. She's just slinging those blades everywhere. I don't, I don't really appeal to throwing sharp objects around. Yeah, I was about to say, it's a little... It's like... There you go, get a good clothesline. That's a wrestling move. There you go, yeah. What do we got next? Well, I think she's... Yeah. Stomp? I know what that look is. Oh, oh my god! What a counter! <laughs> Did what Chelsea a... Green just hit the RKO out of the curb stomp spot? I think she just did. Now, since she's not Randy Orton, we have to call it a cutter, but I, I've seen that spot before. It was yeah. phenomenal. I think Chelsea Green did that counter better than Randy Orton did. My God. Yeah, I think Randy Orton Seth Rollins was a very sliver in comparison to what Chelsea Green just did with Britt Baker. <laughs> did you see the angle she, she got? She got was... it so good, but looks like Britt's making her pay for that. Man. I don't care what else happens. That that's the moment of the night. Dude, for sure, I Chelsea don't know Green's how you can top that. <laughs> the Chelsea cutter. There you go. Now we're see you're back to cooking again. What do we got here? Oh, Ooh. I thought she was gonna go for that Panama Sunrise. That would have been sick. Uh -oh. Man, these women are fighting. This is a hell of an opener. Is this a Canadian destroyer? Oh, interesting. Chelsea is just showing out. Winner. I not a winner. How Damn. do you kick out at zero of that move? I don't understand. It's over. Yeah. That's it. Swinging that breaker. Kick her in the face for whatever reason you feel. Stomp her again. Yeah. Hell of a sequence. She I think that's her, the match. She told her this time you're not countering. I'm going to make sure of it. Put her away? Well, I think Chelsea... She, she put her away. I think that was the result that Britt foresaw, but I don't think... It was the way she foresaw it. I think Chelsea put up way more of a fight what? than she expected. I don't think, yeah. I don't think Britt Baker was expecting Chelsea Green to hit that cutter <laughs> counter. I cannot believe. You could also call it the CG cutter. That'd be a pretty good name. The CG cutter. I like that, actually. It sounds like you're trying to do a CGI thing, but <laughs> not here. This is reality. This is real stuff right here. Yeah, like this match. This is a real a real man's match right a here. A man's match, yes. <laughs> Adam Cole versus Akira Tozawa. How did Cole get stuck in the mid card? <laughs> I would say stuck. I think he just needed TV time. He wasn't getting enough of it. I mean, that's fair. How? I would argue with it being a three-match program, every match is the main event. They're the co-main events. Remember, we, we just say that now, and it makes sense. Uh, this is the okay. co-main event. Well, here comes Cole main event. Every match is the main event. All right. That, that opener should have been the main event now it that really I've seen what I've seen. That was crazy. But how do we know Adam Cole and Akira Tozawa aren't about to put on a clinic? Oh, I don't know. You, I mean, Akira can put on matches when he wants to, you know? When they let him. And we let him. Do we? Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. Well, he's going to have a tough test ahead of him because Adam Cole is no joke. Just um, hit the boom. Just hit the boom. Got to lower the boom. Ready? 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 No. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was uncalled for. Well, I mean, if Cole has a problem with it, you know. I'll let him know. You let that man know, and we'll see what happens. You just made the list! Adam Cole, my ass. Adam Cold. Because he's in the mid card. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> exactly. Adam Cold, because he doesn't draw worth a crap. Not true. 
Not true. Look at all these fans in this arena. There's people up there at the top waiting on Adam Cole. They came no, here. They came here to see this man right here. The power That's of Tazawa. I can't argue that. I definitely can't argue with that one. Let's go, Tazawa. Ooh. He's ready. He's focused. He is ready. I, I think... <clears throat> Excuse me. I think Cole's going to have... Uh, I think Cole's expecting not much from Tozawa, but he's going to... This is going to go the same way DMD versus Chelsea went. I would hope that's not the case. Like, I don't think either... I don't think in Britt Baker's case or Adam Cole's case, they sat there and said, oh, this is an easy dub. They're, they understand their know. opponents. I don't know... Yeah, I don't know. Let's put it in this logic, though. If Cole is a good guy... Oh, never mind. He's a bad guy. <laughs> he's a, bad, <laughs> he's a guy. bad guy. That's well, what never makes sense about Adam Cole, is that he's a baby face one week and then a heel the next. I mean... I don't get it. He's a... He's a baby face. Hey. You nailed it. Let's go. Just like he nailed that kick to his eye. Well, oh, what a kick. What we got next? A suplex? That's it. The match is over. It's over. Yeah, that's that's how I put away my opponents. Adam Cole, baby. Mm. They clapped for that. They're like, yes, we love that. <laughs> we love suplexes. We can't get enough of them. How about German, a German one? one. <laughs> you just saying <laughs> what I'm saying as I say it? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not going to go over well in the long run. <laughs> well, I guess... I'm going to call Joe Testator in. Really? You're going <laughs> to replace me? You're going to replace me. You know what? If you do that, then I'll just become a referee or something. That's a decent idea. <laughs> you have to answer to little Nate at that point. He's the senior official. He runs the show. Don't shush me. Part time, bro! I think that's the fourth neck break area we've seen. Hey, break, breaking necks. Cash and check and breaking necks. Speaking of breaking necks, I mean... Crank it. Crank the neck. Crank that neck. It's better than cranking that soldier boy. See, I... Last time I didn't say it because, you know... And you just... Okay. I didn't know you were trying to. <laughs> I didn't say it because I didn't want to say his name on air. That's fair. Exactly. I mean, we don't necessarily love him. Oh. Shawn oh. Michaels looking. And then a, he caught a forearm and then he caught a... Should have stayed down to Zowie. You shouldn't have yeah, kept up for nothing. Um... Ow. He regrets his decision to jump Ow. back up. So, what were we saying earlier that Cole knew his opponent? <laughs> he almost had him counted out. Oh, oh what a kick. French toe sticks. You might even call it a sick kick. It's a sick kick. And then a drop kick question? Out of Cole, baby, again. Hey. And then another kick. Lots of kicks. It's going to bust his brain. Oh, so, what a... Oh. Just knee to the neck. One. Two. That's what? It. That's it. So, See? Is Tozawa okay? <laughs> I mean, okay, he took the power bomb. Turn the camera back on. He took the power bomb on the edge of the apron. Then he comes in and lands on his neck. And hold on, what is Adam Cole doing? Cole, there's no need to do this. There's... Cole? Cole? Come on, Cole. Puts him back in the ring, okay? Leave him alone. You leave him alone. You leave him alone. He's hurt. He's... But Edo's Shining Wizard. And there's the boom. Well... I felt boomed. Why did you do that, Cole? <sighs> I think Tozawa got hurt in the match is what I was getting at. And I think Adam Cole just worsened that. Yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't be surprised if Tozawa was out for a little bit. Here's my theory. All right, let's get into this cool triple threat. I think mm. this is uh, the winner of this is like the last slot in the global title match at Battleground uh, between Osprey and Dragonov. So, well, you got one man with a lot of history with Dragonov. Mm -hmm. You got Eddie Kingston who almost got to face Dragonov. Almost pandemic era, and then. And then, I don't remember if Strong ever faced Dragonov. I believe I've I want to say they faced each other 
in NXT, maybe. I've never seen it. I ain't seen it. You know what? You're going to look it up. I know you are. The more you look stuff up, the more I'm like, good. I like that. Do you like Eddie Kingston's shirt? Yeah. I always have. I have seven of them at home. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing do you, really? No, I I have a pink Eddie Kingston shirt, a Mad King shirt. That is a pretty good one. All right. Ilja... Trigunov. The fact that most people probably pronounce it that way too hurts my soul. Like Ilja? Okay, hold on. Let me just. Is that Ilja? What do you think? I typed in Ilya Dragunov versus, and what do you think the the first five that popped up were? Um. Okay. I'm going to go with Gunther slash Walter. Yes. And yes. Both, both popped up? Wow. Mm-hmm. I was just kind of like alternating. Um. Dragunov versus Carmelo Hayes. That's five. Wow. Oh. Now, I want to see a dragon match. This where it gets a little harder. Hold on, don't count me out yet. Best dragon match. Dragunov versus Osprey. That's number one. I knew it. I just got one more, huh? Yeah. Dragunov versus Trick Williams. That's six. Dang! All right, I lost. Breaker. Dude, I almost had them all. Yeah, it's Osprey, so Walter, five. Breaker, Gunther, Carmelo, Trick, Dijak, Finn Balor, and then it, it kind of deviates and goes like Walter 1. Yeah. So. I can't believe I almost got all. I got 4 out of 5. That's not bad. And then the 5th one was 6. I got, I got 5 out of 6. Yeah, it did happen. So if I remember correctly... Remember they when Dragonov was the champion, I believe. Strong came over to NXT UK and they had a match. Okay, this car in our entrance is captivating. Jeez, all the low angles and smoke everywhere is like, dude, dang. Car Noir came. I don't, if I'm not mistaken, this isn't his first match in wrestling in the middle, but since. We got the arena and started the show. This might be the first time he's been I on TV. I think so, yeah. I think he just had one other... He was in a, a all-out brawl out fallout mm-hmm. at one point. Maybe that was it. I know he was in the Royal Rumble Season 2 opener. Yeah, he's he's been around, but I think oh, now yeah. he's finally getting some some exclusive TV time. We're getting a good look at Car Noir in this match. Could he be in the global title match I at would, Battleground? I would not count him out. He is definitely... I don't think uh, Strong has ever faced Car Noir. And I'm willing to bet, since they were going to have that first match and they never did, that Kingston's never faced him either. And uh. Car Noir isn't... He's not the most easy-to-predict guy, so course this should be interesting we got a technical master with a uh, strong obviously and then we got hard hitter with kingston and car noir kind of brings both of those things actually so <laughs> it could be he's like let me put car noir over a little bit more though i mean you have to i don't have to though because if there's one thing that kingston and strong have over Kara is their tenure in the business obviously as far as i know as far as I understand. Of course, Carnoir has been out a little bit with injury for a little bit, but, you know, he's getting back in the swing of things now. And... I just hope he has a good showing in this match. We'll see. I Honestly, I think Strong's on a roll of a lifetime. I think I actually give it to Strong. I'm giving it to Strong because he hates Will Ospreay's guts, and... The best yeah. way to fight Will Ospreay is to get into his global title match at Battleground. So, if I'm Roderick Strong, I'm all in on trying to win this match. That's very fair. He definitely does not have an easy task ahead of him. And even if he makes it out of this match, he's not going to be 100%. That was one hell of an entrance. <laughs> he, he brought it. Carnivore brought it with the entrance. Based off of entrances alone... He gets a world title match somewhere down the line. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Whether he's facing MJF or Danielson, I can't tell you till after Battleground, but somewhere down mm-hmm. the line we need to 
I feel like that's two very different people who would have two very different reactions to someone like Car Noir. <laughs> it's time for the main event. All right, let's start the match. Kill the camera, start the match. It's Looks main like event Kingston time. Kingston and Cara picking up where they left off in, what was it, 2019, 2018, something like that? Start palming him in the head. That's where he left off. He was palming him in the face. Well, they were going to start fighting, and now they're fighting. So Roderick's a genius. Roddy's a genius. See, that's that's something that Roderick definitely brings to the circle here. He said, I'm going to go talk shit to the fans, grab a kendo stick, take a beat. Walk around, yeah, take a lap. No hurry. Drink it in, man. Ah, uh, ha, ha. Well. Here comes the ringer. Ringer Roddy. Yeah, he's playing the smart game here, right? What just happened? He he f up. <laughs> Say, All right, Kingston. He, that's why you don't do springboards. He f up. Ooh, well, what a counter from Kingston, making up for whatever that was. Ooh. Well, don't hurt him, Roddy. <laughs> I think that's the point. I know. Ooh, drop kick from Kara. I'll play uh -oh. 2K with my seven-year-old niece, and she'll beg for me not to hit her, and I'm like, well, it's kind of the <laughs> point. Kind of the point. <laughs> Don't hit me. Well, you know, that's how this match is going to end. So, uh oh, got him in the electric chair position. Okay. <laughs> I didn't Dropped see that him coming. Just the forearm. That's very Kingston. That, that's very Kingston like. Sure as hell didn't see that one coming. <laughs> that's very Roger Strong like, honestly. This is the last match we have till we get to Battleground, is what excites me. I'm thinking about this pay-per-view, the card, Kenny Gunther, Steel Cage, Danielson, MJF, No Holds Barred, EO versus Rhea Ripley. Oh, that is a rematch God. for the lifetime. This is going to be a banger. This is going to be a banger. Mm. I mean, Dragunov and Osprey oh, are going to have a global title match already, but then one of these men are going to yeah. get added to the match? Come on. I think I neglected to mention, I think all three men have faced Will Ospreay before as well. <laughs> there is a common factor here. They're all going to face him again. <laughs> don't don't bet against Ospreay or Dragunov. Like, I can't oh, bet no, against sure. Ospreay winning the title because he wins titles. can't bet against Dragunov losing it because he doesn't lose title. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a very... We don't need an extra man in that match. You don't need, but, I mean, we're going to get one. <laughs> it's like, but you're going to get him anyway. Yeah, unless unless they all hurt each other so much they, they can't get cleared. Oh, Roderick going for the win now. See, Roderick over here playing. <laughs> Didn't work. He's playing chess here. He really is. <laughs> he's getting a clothesline for doing so. And what a headbutt. I don't know if that was a good idea because Kingston has a pretty hard head. Yeah, he does. Roddy turning back to Kingston. Yeah, he is. Duck under, what we got, what we got. Oh, what a backbreaker. I don't have one for that. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Oh, Car Noir is getting Roll hyped credits. up. What's what he, he doing? Uh oh, nope. What a dragon screw from Kingston. Oh, Kingston going for a pin. I don't know that a dragon screw would be. <laughs> well, it almost Ooh. worked. It didn't almost work. Now Roddy's taking it to both with a chair. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta go on a good chair attack. Yeah, gotta give him a. Gotta give him Car a Noir one. rolling away. That's the best idea here, cause headshot. Well, car out of the he way. Oh, oh my god! Hitting people in heads with chairs is always the move, I guess. I mean. I keep getting worried the ref is going to run in the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Dang, no. Dang, Roddy, what a knee. What a high knee. What a high knee. <laughs> you know, he, Kingston keeps going for those springboards, and he keeps missing. You would think he would learn. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what's gotten into Kingston, because he normally doesn't do a springboard, so... Okay. Kingston might be missing him, but he's taking control of this match. Yeah. I'm starting to wonder... Am I betting on the wrong horse here? Maybe uh -oh. not. Maybe Aiden not. Heartache and lung blower, actually. Blew my lungs, that's for sure. What? One. Two, is Carr going to break it up? Oh, he doesn't need to. Kingston kicks out. Man, this match is getting a little exciting now. I'm going to yeah, have to admit. They... See what Carr has. I know. It seemed like such a random triple threat, but. Phew. 
is going. Into the corner goes Kara. Looks like Kingston is strong now, duking it out. Oh. Into the other corner. It's going to put him in the corner and make him watch. <laughs> it's a little weird, Roddy. <laughs> it's a little weird. No, that's what he's doing. Okay, that makes a little more sense now. Rambunctious Roderick Rampage here. Damn. Just using people to ram into other people. This is Roddy Rampage right now. I think this is the he's end on of a ramp. Yeah. Yes. There's the end of that Rampage and Heartache. Is this it? One. one no one's here. Two. two no one's here. Three. Kara eats the pin. It looks like Roddy's going on, which... Kudos to Roddy. He got what he wanted. Roderick is getting a global title match, but as I suggested before, I think Car Noir randomly is getting a world title match out of this down the line. Again, not at Battleground. Don't know when it's happening. I just put the ballot in, but everything I say almost always comes to fruition. So Almost. Just saying. Almost. So you at Battleground? Are you going to come to Battleground? I might.